Hello. Uh, Adam Olinger, <clears throat> Feud Nation. I'm here to try out for one of, the, one of the roles in the 2016 Ghostbusters film. Looks at the wontons, okay. I'm just looking for a reasonable ratio of wontons to soup. This is madness. Oh, that's a, that's a joke? That's like a, a joke in the film? I, I don't know how to make that funny. Light them up, bitches. Okay, so I'm running away and the, the Ecto-1 comes out, Slimer's driving it, and there's a female Slimer in the passenger seat. What? Booyah! Emphasis on the boo. This is like the chest. You want me to go lower still? Picture me in a comical hat and wig. The hat was too much, right? Was it the hat or the wig? I mean, this is what it says. This is, is this the joke? I don't know if I'm supposed to play this serious or not because this isn't funny. I could write a joke at the caliber of that one off the top of my head. Here we go. Um, keep in mind, it's at the caliber of this joke. I'm at a restaurant. The other Ghostbusters are around and we're eating. A person, a chair over farts. We catch whiff of it. The three of them look directly at me with scowls on their face. I look over like, Ugh! check please. So now I'm just shooting him in the knees, I guess? No, no, up, like, well, where, the belly button? Aw, oh, hell no, the devil is a liar? The stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Get out of my friend's head, ghost! Let's go, oh, did, did you wanna say, did you, you, me? Who's, who's gonna say the line, let's go? <laughs> what a comical screw up we just made. May the power of Patty compel you! Except for when we film, I'll do it like way more obnoxious. Super over the top. I guess he's going to Queens. He's gonna be the third scariest thing on that train. <laughs> that line's funny. Holy shit, that's funny. Cause Queens is like a shit, scary, sketchy part of town. So it's like, there's a ghost, but there's scarier things in Queens than a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like in the belly button, lower than the belly button. So I'm shooting him in the dick, come on. <laughs> I can't get over the Queens line. You just got Holtzman, baby. So I just ran a light. Safety lights are for dudes. What? Like, it's a fucking ghost, but that's not even scary in Queens. <laughs> it's coming up with this gold. Oh, shit. All right, so I'm playing Aaron Gilbert. Zero personality to this character from what I've gathered. I'm gonna try to, okay. Why am I operating the untested nuclear laser? Was that too much? Try again. Why am I operating the untested nuclear laser? Better. You have the longest arms. That's where I saw the weird sparky thing. What was it? Baby, if I knew what it was, I wouldn't have called it a weird sparky thing. I'm just a no-nonsense black woman subway operator. I don't have time for your science white woman bitch shit. I don't know no, no education. I'm a stereotype cliche in a movie that's not supposed to be about stereotype cliches. It's about woman power. I have one wonton. I have a tub of soup and one split wonton. I'm sorry you're having a soup crisis. There isn't even any meat in there. That's just a carrot. <laughs> Still supposed to be funny. All right, so I fall back into the crowd, I land on the ground, I'm like, all right, I don't know if it's a race thing or a lady thing, but I'm mad as hell. Wait, how? Are these all the Ghostbusters women in this? What the fuck am I even trying out for? So this isn't a sequel. It's not a, like a prequel. It's just a straight remake, but we're referencing things from the original movie. Like Slimer, nobody knows who the fuck Slimer is. They're not supposed to know. The Stay Puft Marshmallows in this, why? Like, I'm looking at the script, why? They, if, if the other movie doesn't exist, then why is the new reboot have the old shit in it as like a reference to nostalgia that wasn't supposed to exist? I don't understand. And why are they all women? Because the original was all men, so we have to like flip the script for no fucking reason at all? And if you're gonna tell me some shit that it needs women power and that there's no strong women roles, you have another thing coming, buddy. Have you heard of Kill Bill? Have you heard of basically any Angelina Jolie movie, like Tomb Raider or Salt or Wanted? 
Any of those ring a bell? How about fucking aliens? Or alien? Or anything with Sigourney Weaver? The masterful Sigourney Weaver. How about Avatar? Pretty sure there's a couple strong women in that film, you dumbass. A League of Their Own. The Resident Evil franchise. The Fifth Element. These all have strong female leads. This isn't hard to come up with. This isn't a new thing. Charlie's Angels 1 and 2. The Scream franchise, mostly female protagonists. Every Disney animated princess film has a strong female lead for the most part besides Cinderella who's a little bitch, but she still got hers, okay? She still got hers. Annie, Curly Sue, how about Mad Max Fury Road? If you think that Charlize Theron wasn't the lead in that, then you have another thing coming, Buster. Sister Act, Pitch Perfect, The Terminator. Why do you have to pander to an audience of morons to try to sell tickets to a movie that doesn't need to be made? Like, we have no remakes already? Everything's again a reboot or a remake. We're sick of it. I don't want this role. And it looks like you don't want me to have it anyways. Hello, Adam Olinger, Feud Nation. I'll be trying out for the part of Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. Kevin's gonna be a boy, right?